All right, I'm here with our Bantams of the week, Marcella and Travis. Uh, congratulations, guys, first of all, on getting nominated and winning this week. So let's start with the easy question. Why Trinity? Why come play sports at Trinity over other schools, starting with Marcella? Uh, I think that one's a pretty easy one to answer, just the community, like getting on campus. It's a really encouraging and engaging community, and that's what like drew, drew me to Trinity. And Travis? I knew I wanted to go to a smaller school uh, somewhere in New England, whether that would be an SCAC or an IB or something along the lines of Springfield. And uh, I came to the campus when it was in, uh, fully flowering uh, when I was a senior in high school and fell in love with the campus and met some of my uh, best friends on the team. So it's just been a really wonderful experience from you know, the searching and then getting here. That's good to hear. So what's it been like with taking you know two years off because of the pandemic, what's it been like coming back? How's the adjustment been? Um, I think the adjustment has been hard, but something that makes it easier is just having an awesome team to sort of rely on. Um, I think we've gotten even closer the past two years, even though we're not technically playing the cross, we're still like jumping on Zooms, FaceTiming, um, and so it's. It's it's still been a great two years. And it's Travis? Been, it's definitely been harder with training, um, especially this winter, because we didn't have an indoor track, and uh, it was pretty cold and wintry. It's not, not ideal for, uh, for distance running or running in general, but um, it's definitely kind of made me mentally stronger, and I think other people as well, uh, just by virtue of having to power through this really you know interesting two years. Yeah. So now to more individual questions. Marcella, you had a hat trick this week against Hamilton. You had another goal earlier in the week. What's been the key to your success this week? Um, I think something we talk about a lot is how there's no like individual successes. We kind of the play always starts with either like the defenders grabbing a uh, cause tone turnover or goalies making a huge save. Um, and so I think like it was just a really a collective effort that let us get going on Hamilton. And then Travis, you took home a Trinity record this week. What's that been like, having your name in the record books forever? It's cool. Um, I did not go into that race thinking I would break a record at all. I just kind of figured this, this is going to be my first real race because the competition was really stacked in the 800, and uh, I thought the 800 was completely out of my wheelhouse. So. It was just fun to race, and then the time came with it. So, you know, it's it wasn't a goal, but I'm gonna probably keep running the 800 for a little bit. That's awesome. So, going into the future, what's what's uh, the playoff perspective for women's lacrosse this year? What's the goal for the season? Um, our team motto, kind of, with COVID, has been one barrel at a time. So, we try not to look too far into the future and just focus on what's right ahead. So that we're looking at Hamilton this weekend and just focusing on that. Awesome. And then, Travis, I hear D3 Nationals may be in order for the 800. What are, what are your goals for yeah. the rest of the season? Yeah, that's looking increasingly likely. Um, I've got a 5K this weekend. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but that's you know, a lot longer than 800 meters, so we'll see. Um, I would like to also try to qualify in the 1500 and see if I can, you know, depending on what my coach thinks I would be stronger in try to go for All-American or possibly win Nationals. Um, but, yeah, I would love to just get All-American and be able to race again. And, Marcello, you're graduating this year, so what's your post-college look like? What, what are you in looking to do? Um, still trying to figure that out, keeping an open mind, but I'm definitely looking forward to being a crazy alum on the sidelines and cheering on <laughs> the GLAX next year. And then Travis, you still got two more years. What are you looking to do? More records? More records in your sights? Or ideally, um, I'm gonna try to keep shaving time off that eight. Um, the 1500 and the 5K are gonna be the tallest orders because the guy uh, Ryan Bach who set them is uh, went on to go pro and break four in the mile, and he was an incredible athlete. So I've got my sights set on it, but uh, we'll see how many years it takes to, to get those if I get them at all. But it's a fun challenge. Awesome. Sounds sounds interesting, guys. Thanks again. Congrats on the award.
Have a good rest of the season.